Monday has to be one of the worst days of the week. And I say, what better day than Monday for a car cruise? It's a way to kick off the week. It's a way to wind down after the long weekend. And if you want to kick off your week, come to AutoZone in Washingtonville, where Hudson Valley Hot Rods, who do business as the Embalmers Car Club, have their Monday night cruise. And tonight, we're going to talk to a few of the people that are hanging out here today, just kind of unwinding and sipping on their Dunkin' Donuts. And we're also going to talk to the president of the club, Paul Neiman. Today on My Ride Garage, the featured cruise night is the Hudson Valley Hot Rods at AutoZone in Washingtonville. I'm with Paul Neiman. He is the president of the Hudson Valley Hot Rods, who are a chapter of the Embalmers. Now, Paul, that might need a little bit of explaining. So explain first to everybody about the Hudson Valley Hot Rods. Sure, we're the Hudson Valley Hot Rods. We're a uh, local car club that started up uh, a year and a half ago. We're based out of Washingtonville, New York. And uh, our objective is, is to uh, raise money and uh, help uh, some local charities uh, throughout the whole entire year. That's what we do. So it's all about having fun with the cards, enjoying whatever ride you have, no matter what kind it is. We call a hot rod anything from a new car to an old car. Whatever you drive, if you enjoy driving it, stop down and become a member with us. There you go. Uh, this weekend, actually on July 12th, is our second annual show that we're having for the uh, Bloomer Grove Humane Society. It's called Operation Pause. And that's located at Lasser Park here, just outside of Washington, in Salisbury Mills, New York. Uh, our whole idea of doing this is to raise money for the local uh, Humane Society, which is Bloomer Grove. We do have a rain date for July 26th. Okay. Now, if, if somebody wants to become a member, how do they find out about the Hudson Valley Hot Rods? There's two ways you can do it. We're on Facebook at uh, Hudson Valley Hot Rods on Facebook. Also, our main chapter, which is located in Hopewell Junction, New York, uh, it's called the EmbalmersCarClub.com. You go right on the website, you can print out an application, fill it out. You can bring it down to us here, to our chapter in Orange County, which we're looking for more members. Yeah, now, you, you got a car of your own, don't you? What do you, what do you have? i got a couple of them. Yeah. i got a couple of them. <laughs> name, name a few. Uh, the one I have, my everyday driver, is my SRT8 Magnum, uh -huh. uh, which is uh, it's a fun car to drive every day, even in the winter. Uh -huh. I also have a, uh, uh, a white Magnum. It's a, you know, a little specialty car. It's more like California edition. Uh -huh. you know, got a couple of crazy-looking doors on it uh, that lift up. Up in the air and big wheels uh, but my favorite car of all time I will say this is my uh, 87 Camaro uh -huh. I've had it pretty much out of high school and uh, you know 37,000 original miles on it and that's wow. my just my favorite car to drive out of all I of them say, yeah. it's a lot of fun yeah. so Paulie thank you and oh, good luck no with the show this weekend I'm with Bill Fowler he belongs to the embalmers or Hudson Valley hot rods yes and you have, this car pulled in and everybody turned around and looked. Now you have a Pantera here. What year is this? It's a 1974. And yeah. what size motor does this have in it? It's got a 351 Cleveland with a five-speed German transmission. It and was, what's the horsepower? It's about 400 horsepower, yeah. this question. Yeah. yeah. Now tell me a little bit of history about this car. Where did you get this? This car came from uh, Virginia. My brother actually bought it uh -huh. back in 1989. And unfortunately, he passed away in 2000. So uh -huh. I bought it from his wife at that time gotcha. for 25000 And then I restored it in 2006. Uh -huh. I did the body and the paint and the motor. In 2011, I did the interior of the car. Oh, wow. Now, did you do the restoration, some of it yourself, or? Most everything I did myself, I didn't do the paint, and I didn't actually build the motor. I had somebody uh -huh. build the motor for me. Uh -huh. But I completely took the car apart and put it all back together. Now, you, you certainly must turn heads when you ride down the road. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And where, where, where's your favorite place to cruise with this car? It must be on a really twisty road. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it loves the turns. Uh-huh. Really and do the cops love it, or? Ah, they usually leave me alone. Yeah, I'm yeah. surprised Nana pulled you over and said, I got to check this thing out. This is awesome, Bill. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you for talking with me today. I'm with Nick, and he has this cute little Subaru, and I've been noticing he's been polishing this thing all night long. Now, Nick, you got to tell me about this. It's like one of a kind here. Uh, yes, it's a 1976 Subaru uh, GF, and uh, I bought it uh, back in November. Uh -huh. uh, it was this past November? This past November, no yeah. Um, and uh, it's got 75,000 miles on it. Original? Original miles. It's all original. Uh, right down to the seats and... Uh, yeah, everything about it is original. Now, you, you've, have you done anything to this at all? This is like uh, 
besides general maintenance and uh, replacing the fuel pump, that was it. Wow, that is awesome. That is awesome. See, folks, you never know what's under the cover till you talk to the owner. Don't be shy. Come right up to him and say, you got to tell me about this car. You know, and they're more than willing to tell you about their priceless little baby. This is awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Really awesome little ride. Enjoy it. Thank you very much. Thanks for talking to me, Nick. I'm with Andrew, and he is has this awesome little rat rod here, which I'm kind of partial to. That and Chevy's. You got to tell me, Andrew, about this car. And this this has a little special place. It was on a album cover or something. Tell me first about the history. Yes, it's a uh, it's a 1938 Chevy. Um, we found this in Massachusetts, and uh, we we've had it about still about a year now. Uh, my wife and myself and my daughter. And uh, it's been on the Manniklin Brothers album. Um, we we bought it like this. The thing that I've got done is I got the taxi light to work on the top. Oh. Uh, and I've done some electrical stuff to it. Nothing nothing major. Uh -huh. um, I just enjoy it as it is. It, I it's, bet. it's a great car. This is a straight six. It's a 216. Yeah. Um, it's an actually 1940 motor in a 1938. Somewhere along the line, somebody changed it to a up, updated the motor. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's a lot. Exactly. It's a lot of fun just cruising exactly. in. And yeah, isn't that what it's all about? Absolutely. You know. That, Absolutely. That's awesome. Andrew, thank you very no much. No problem. Folks, it's Monday night, but you would never know. We had a blast here tonight. I mean, there is like new cars, old cars, there's rat rods, and everybody's just having a blast. I mean, joking and laughing and dancing, and isn't that what it's all about? It's about the cars and the folks that come with them. And like I said, don't ever be afraid to go up to one of them and ask them about their car. That's why they bring it. They want to share it. They want to share their passion. I'm Donna Kessler, and it was great being here with the Hudson Valley Hot Rods at Washingtonville AutoZone. Be sure to check them out every Monday. Until next time, I'll see you on another episode of My Ride Garage.